Hello everybody, back here, Bullion here. It is very early in the morning, before 6am. Such is my dedication to bringing you guys interesting content. I am off to the Edinburgh Assay Office. Mrs. Backyard Bullion has been roped into dropping me off at the airport at this ungodly hour. And I have with me the 150 100 gram silver forum bars, as well as the remaining 29 one ounce silver forum bars. Now, if you don't know anything about these silver forum bars, please do go check out all of my other videos on them. You can also go and find out all of the information about these bars on the silver forum. All the links are in the description below. They are in pre-order at the moment, so please do get in touch if you would like to order one. You can drop a comment on this video, you can drop me an email to byb at backyardbullion.com or you can just drop me a message through the Silver Forum. Uh, but I thought it would be a really great opportunity to actually get up to Edinburgh to meet the people at the Edinburgh Assay Office who are involved in all of the hallmarking of my handful of silver. So I'm going to do another little vlog of the day showing the sights and sounds of Edinburgh. I don't know quite how much I'm going to be able to show of the Assay Office itself, but I'll bring you what I can. So sit back and enjoy the day and I'll catch up with you a bit later. I'm through security now, I'm just waiting to find out what gate my flight will be from. Uh, so today I'm traveling just with my hand luggage, as you can see, I didn't want to check this in for obvious reasons, just in case it was to go missing. Uh, so I knew going through security would be an interesting experience and I knew I'd probably get pulled to one side and in fact I did. Uh, they were obviously interested to find out what was inside there because when it went through the x-ray it was just a giant block of metal. Uh, so I took uh, the opportunity to go to a sort of private room with them because I didn't want to get everything out for full show in the Gatwick Airport, and they were fine with that. And once we got talking about why I was traveling and what they were, they were absolutely fine with it. In fact, they were really interested in these pieces. Uh, they said so they'd never seen anything like this going through airport security, which is kind of cool. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, they said there's nothing in there that was sharp, there's nothing in there that's dangerous, so there's no reason why you can't fly with them. So that in itself is a really interesting kind of experiment to have done. You can fly with these kind of bullion bars, just, you know, loose in your bag. Well, not loose, they're all tightly packed in a box, but uh, you know what I mean. So yeah, that's really good. Now all it's to do is to uh, wait for my flight, so I'll catch up with you guys a bit later.
a hop, skip and a jump across town on the airport bus and I was at the assay office. Now it was an amazing day, great to see the whole place and have a grand tour. But I wasn't able to take that many photos. I did get a few though. This is a cabinet showing some of the oldest pieces that the assay office has ever hallmarked. Simply stunning stuff in there. And then this cabinet shows a goblet and a jug which were made by an apprentice at the assay office as a proving of their skills. Now apprenticeships run really deep in what the assay office does. And these are some of the modern apprenticeship results. The teapot at the top there was actually commissioned for Billy Connolly, who's a very famous Scottish comedian. Now I was able to take some photos of the actual stamping area where the BYB stuff actually gets stamped, which is really special. And I even got to see the BYB stamp in the flesh, which is just, uh, it's very special for anyone who knows anything about hallmarking, that's very cool. But it was really, really great to actually meet the master marker, talk through everything about marking silver. It was just a really educational experience. I even got to see him do it firsthand. Did it? Yeah. And it's just as simple as that. So I had a fantastic time. Uh, I've got more to talk about later in the video about the assay office, so make sure you stick around and check that out. But now it's back to the airport. So there we go everybody, that was the sights and sounds of Edinburgh as well as the Edinburgh Assay Office. It was an absolutely amazing day, I really really enjoyed uh, going and visiting the people at the Edinburgh Assay Office. I actually ended up getting a complete full tour of the venue, uh, all of their different sections from uh, machine stamping through to laser stamping, the laboratory, obviously I met the hand stamper and you saw with some of the photos there I got an opportunity to watch him actually stamp some of my pieces uh, live which is really great, really amazing. So considering I'm a tiny fish in a huge pond I thought that was a really great thing to do uh, and I'm very very happy. Now obviously if you guys have watched some of the other videos about the assay office I have had some issues with them, uh, you know, damaging a few pieces in the past I can say that is well and truly behind us and sorted they've put in place so many different techniques and measures to actually mitigate any of those risks uh, and it's absolutely working out wonders we're getting great results uh, and we're just enjoying stuff and you can see here um, I've got a new box of stuff which has just been back from hallmarking so I picked this up today I thought it would be a good opportunity to save a bit on postage and actually pick it up while I was there uh, so these are a whole bunch of new things I'm not going to get them all out and show them but uh, you know we've we've actually seen some of these pieces get hallmarked today uh, and here is the uh, is a really cool ripple bar so you can see there the hallmark down at the bottom underneath the 2017 uh, but you know we talked at length about a whole host of different things like for example the destructive testing that needs to be done uh, you know they explained a lot about why uh, the destructive testing is needed and I completely understand that uh, so here we have uh, an unfinished ripple round uh, and on the side you can see that they've drilled into it now we've been talking at length about how we can can look to actually repair these little drill holes that come through uh, and it is going to be possible so next time I come up to the Edinburgh Asso office I'm going to be bringing up with me a whole bunch of sort of silver wire and they'll be able to then plug all of these drill holes which they actually make so all of these items that get drill tested instead of just having to melt them down again I'll actually be able to, uh, to use them which is great. Uh, you also they've been looking at uh, you know some of the antique things that I've been uh, stamping and there was a little bit of concern about whether or not the hallmark would uh, you know actually show up properly on the blackened surface but really good news is that they, that they do so fantastic stuff if we ever want to have completely blackened objects they will come up really nice which is great so I really had a blast today I thought it was an absolutely fantastic day out uh, it's not really something that anybody can just go and do sadly because the, the assay office obviously uh, you know they need to be relatively secretive that's why I wasn't able to show you guys a lot more around the venue and take more photos but it was a phenomenal phenomenal setup that they have and I tell you if I had different career choices back when I was in school I'd have chosen to work in the assay office so if you like this video please put a thumbs up on it share it around on your social media that would be very helpful indeed if you haven't checked out the 100 gram silver forum bars please do go and have a look on the silver forum and go and check out all my other videos as well otherwise i just want to say a huge and massive thank you to everybody for watching and please make sure that you like share comment and subscribe for more